in the entire globe. There's a lot of fun, celebrations and festivity. And is also, it is the blessed day for many of us. In 1886, January 1st, the incarnation of this new age, new millennium, Sri Ramakrishna, he opened himself and he showed to the whole world publicly, who is he? So it is a self-revelation day and also it is Kalpataru day. On this day, Sri Ramakrishna blessed around 30 devotees were there around in the Kashipur. He blessed everyone and fulfilled all their desires and prayers. Let us all go to Ment abode called Kashipur, which has got a beautiful gardens, a small pond where there are a good amount of fishes. In and around pond, flowers, dahlia flowers, rose flowers, and so many other varieties. And also there is a mango tree and some other fruit trees too. Sri Ramakrishna, by accepting the sins of devotees time and again, as a result, he had got a sore throat. Slowly it got turned into cancer, throat cancer. And he was unable to eat, unable to intake any food. Slowly, slowly, he was reduced into just skin and skeletal bones. He had become too weak and he was unable to get up even. And January 1st, 1886, his health was a bit better. So he came down with the help of one or two devotees. Let us all imagine we have gone to Kashipur and we are witnessing this heavenly incident where Sri Ramakrishna is slowly getting down. The author of Mahabharata and Bhagavata, they were all great rishis. They had a, such a poetic capacity. But still, they tried to describe you and they were unable to describe you completely. When Valmiki, Sage Valmiki and Sage Vyasa have failed to describe you, then what to speak of me? Please bless me so that let me have more and more devotion. What a unfathomable, unfathomable devotion he had. Sri Ramakrishna moved from his devotion. He went into the trance, Bhava Samadhi, and he blessed, saying that, Tumadir Chaitanya Hog, may you be illumined. When he blessed, there was a spiritual fervor spiritual atmosphere in and around. One by one, they plucked the flowers and they started offering at the lotus feet of Sri Ramakrishna one by one. You also feel that you have gone to Kashipur. You are witnessing this beautiful incident and you are also blessed. So you are also plucking some flowers and you were offering at the lotus feet of Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna is blessing every individual. Some are getting the vision of their chosen deities completely. Then and there, some of them sat for meditation deeply. Some felt their Kundalini Shakti has been awakened and they're having divine experiences. As a result, some are shouting, Jai Ramakrishna. Some are laughing. Some are becoming mum. You 
you also feel that you are getting surcharged by the divine grace, by Sri Ramakrishna's divine touch. And some of them are shouting, Oh, whoever is nearby, please come. It's a wonderful thing. Please receive the blessings of Sri Sri Thakur Ramakrishna. This type of meditation is called Leela Dhyan. The sport of God, meditating on the sport of God. And offer your prayers mentally to Sri Ramakrishna, whatever it may be. Let us all feel that we are receiving the divine grace and we are feeling blessed and we are able to go further in the Godward journey or in our spiritual journey, manifesting the divinity. We may also feel Sri Ramakrishna is touching our head, our face, or our heart, and is telling that, may the mother be awakened in you. May the divinity may be awakened and you may be enlightened, illumined. And let us walk with Sri Ramakrishna in that beautiful garden where it is a complete lushful green with some fruit trees and beautiful flower plants. Let us stroll along with Sri Ramakrishna. The whole atmosphere has become festive and spiritual atmosphere. The spiritual frequency is filled in the atmosphere so that we are able to feel that we are divine. We are not the body. We are not the mind. We are not the intellect. We are the self. 
fill it more and more with the divine grace. Now let us all think that Sri Ramakrishna has come to normal plane and is going back to his room. And we are all standing with the folded hands, feeling blessed to have his divine vision and touch. Let us all chant five to ten times on car, having a deep inhalation. Om. that you are become, your mind has become calm, quiet and serene and it is soaked with divine consciousness. The mind has lost its all, its restlessness. It has become concentrated and we are able to fix at the holy feet of the Lord. Let us offer our prayers, if any, to the Lord, to the Divine. And also, if you have got any resolutions, we shall also take. We shall do this and we shall not do this for this entire year or for any stipulated time. We may pray for peace, love, compassion, good health, God-centered life, 
and cheerfulness. And also we shall pray for every being in this entire creation so that let everyone be happy. Let everyone be healthy. And let all their basic necessities be fulfilled. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Satat